Hey, JNM with a new Blender tutorial, this time for texture painting. We are going to paint two materials onto a simple mesh. The texture I get from textures.com and I will use this image here of a wood plank for texturing a wooden handle. Ok, this is the mesh that I created, a very simple mesh. You can see it in edit mode. Then I press A to select all and then U to UV unwrap it. I use Smart UV Project, which is quick and dirty, but it doesn't matter too much how the UVs look like, because we are going to paint directly onto the mesh. Ok, simple. Now I switch to the workspace Texture Paint. Then we get this view with the UVs on the left side for 2D painting and on the right side the mesh in the 3D view. Alright, now we are adding the material. So go here to the Active tool and add a paint slot for the base color. I call it wood paint and set the resolution to 2K. And now you see we have a black background color, but this is actually a mask. We have to reselect the base color. And now the correct image is selected that we can paint on. But we want to paint with the wood image, so open the texture panel, press the new button, Give it a name, for example, TXT Wood, and then we can open the image that we downloaded. Here we go, and now I can use this image as a stencil. You can hold the right mouse button to move it around, and also in the 2D editor, and be sure that you set it to paint. To adjust the size of the image, you can hold the shift key down and the right mouse button and then move the mouse. Ok, and then you can paint onto the UVs, but before set the color to pure white. Ok, and in the viewport the texture is applied. Alright, pretty nice. Now I go ahead and remove the stencil. We don't need it anymore. Also here from the active tool, so that we don't have a stencil, because I want to paint a kind of overlay over this wood in a moment. But before we do that, I will add a light. I go again here to the layout workspace and switch the viewport to the material preview. Ok, then I press Shift and A to add a sunlight. And then we can move and rotate it, so that we get some nice shadows here in the viewport. This should work and then I increase the strength a bit and set the color to a yellow tone. Ok, let's continue to add the overlay. We have to create a new material. So I open the shader editor, select the object so that we see the principal shader, then press N to hide the part on the right side. And the first thing that I want to do is to add a bump node to display the height information of the wood. It's a simple way to add height, but it works. So press Shift and A and search for the bump node. And then I connect it with the wood image. Like that, and then connect the bump node to the normal input of the principal shader. And this is a bit too bumpy, so I decrease the strength. And I think we can go with that. Alright, now for the paint overlay, we have to add a new principal shader. And I set it to, for example, a red color. Then we have to mix both principal shaders and for this I'm going to add a mix shader node. Then I connect the principal shaders.
and then the mix shader to the output. As you can see, the factor of the mix shader works like an opacity for the overlay. When I set it to 1, you don't see the underlying shader anymore. It is like a layer. Ok, but my goal is now to paint the first layer for special areas only over the wood. To do this, I have to define a mask. And this can be a black and white image. So we'll add an image texture node again. And then connect it to the factor of the mix shader. This can be a bit tedious. Then I create a new image. I name it mask wood for example and also set it to 2k. And of course we have to remove this connection. And we start with a black mask. This means we don't see the overlay, the paint. And now you guessed it. We have to paint white onto the mask where we want to see the red overlay. So switch the mode to texture paint. And be sure that the mask that appears here as a paint slot in the active tool panel is selected. Then I select the brush for painting and then we can paint with the white color onto the object and onto the mask where we want to see the overlay. Press F to set the brush size and paint onto the handle like that. Or well, see we have the symmetry enabled. You can change it here in the toolbar. And you see we can nicely paint in the red material. Of course you can also hide it again when you switch to a black color and add these parts again to the mask. Again I change to white because I want this part at the bottom to be covered with the paint as well. You see, pretty simple and we can always go ahead and change the properties of the second shader. Like here, specular or roughness. Ok, now the paint looks a bit unnatural because we don't see the height of the wood through the material. But we can combine it very easily. We just connect the bump node to the normal input of the second shader. And now you can see the height info of the wood through the red paint. And again I play with the roughness. You get the idea. Looks nice and of course you can always change to the mask and add or remove parts of the overlay. Ok guys, that's it again for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and interesting. And if you do then please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Consider supporting me as my patron or join here as a channel member, nice perks are waiting. If you have any questions add these to the comments and I'll see you in the next one.